Force Registrar. That is just one of the ways the anti-doping task force hope will help in controlling the spread and use of performance enhancing drugs among Kenyan athletes. The task force made public its findings and recommendations today. The anti-doping task force was constituted in November last year to investigate claims of doping by a cross-section of Kenyan athletes. The 62-page report findings and recommendations were made public by the Cabinet Secretary for Sports, Dr. Hassan Wario. Our report shows that the use of prohibited substances in Kenya is quite rampant. And this cuts across all sports. The research involved over 967 male and 422 female respondents sampled from 20 different sporting disciplines. Steroids are said to be the most common type of drug used for doping in Kenya with 76.3% of the participants acknowledging they knew someone who uses the banned substance. Bang came second at 21.8% while Mira and cocaine were mentioned by only 1% of the respondents. Consumers of the said performance enhancing drugs are spread through rugby, football and track and field events among other sporting disciplines in the country. In track and field, access of over-the-counter drugs was cited as one of the challenges while ignorance played a big part in making it easy for athletes to be convinced into doping by rogue managers and agents. Most of this use is either accidental and in some cases it's a big kind of intentional but most of it is driven by ignorance. A few cases were confirmed in the report to be engaged in the vice of doping and some of them are aided and abetted by professionals such as doctors, managers, and agents. Agents are the dark horses in all this. Although Athletics Kenya has been organizing annual seminars to discuss doping among other issues, the athletics governing body was blamed for not doing enough at the grassroots level, as well as in failing to vet agents. If you're handling our athletes, who when they mess up, the problem is national. We need to vet you. We need to know who you are. We need to know your background. We need to know who, which athletes you handle. So that if there's a, there's a problem, we'll say it's so and so, this is the agent. The task force recommends that a Kenyan anti-doping agency be set up and that the immigration department will be required to be actively involved in vetting work permits. It also stressed that tough measures will be put in place to punish those who are caught promoting the vice.